WNCN Investigates is looking into the rash of deadly accidents at quarries in our state this year. They are a popular spot, but you may want to think twice before you swim there. Our investigative reporter Jonathan Rodriguez takes a look at the dangers and the rescue team that trains for emergencies. We recommend that people don't swim. It's hard not to want to swim in a place like this. There'll be dozens of people here on any weekday in the summer. And there may be a couple of hundred here on a Saturday or Sunday or a holiday. Abandoned rock quarries like the Eno in Durham are usually hidden gems where people go to float away from stress or for a sense of adventure. But not all adventures turn out the way they were planned. Young folks tend to think nothing's going to happen, that the unexpected is never going to happen. But it really does happen. So far this summer, at least five people have been killed at rock quarries across the state. The latest was 17-year-old Lamont Burt. Orange County 911, what's the address of emergency? The large uh, water-filled quarry in the park. And uh -huh. I have the reports of a possible drowning victim there. He began to struggle, and this was noticed by both his friends and a ranger that was on foot patrol at the time. They all tried to reach him. The ranger was directing people to try to get to him in time. But time was not on their side. And they tried diving for him, but again, because of the depth, Nobody could get down to reach them. Very sad situation. Drowning is the number one cause of death at abandoned quarries, but it's not the only danger. A lot of the quarries that are water filled, you'll find big steep cliffs. So it's not just a matter of deep water. It's also a matter of high hazards where you can fall and fall on rocks. <laughs> Of course, time is of the essence when you have people in the water. This is one team that responds to those emergencies. We answer water rescue calls, whether it be in a lake or a rock quarry or swift water, flood water. The Durham County Fire Department Water Rescue Team is part of North Carolina Task Force 8. We're a local resource, we're a state resource, and we can also be a, a national resource. 20 feet. Contact. If you're stuck in water, their job is to get you out. They showed us some of their training, both on these Zodiacs and on a flat bottom boat. You, you never think something's going to happen and, until it does. Their recommendation for rock quarries? Not swimming in them. Uh, although they look nice, it's a really dangerous area. You may not know what's under the water. Getting you out is often the easy part, but getting to you can take time. Access to rock quarries is generally not as easy. Although it's not recommended, these safety experts know that people are still going to swim. So if you do, they say bring something to float on and never swim alone. We hope we don't have to do it, but we train for it. When we have to do it, we hope to be ready. Jonathan Rodriguez, WNCN News. The U.S. Department of Labor has a Stay Out and Stay Alive campaign warning people about the dangers of abandoned quarries. We've got much more information on our website, WNCN.com.